Not everyone is lucky enough to have a recording agent, right? Well, the mood board's got one. Too bad the band doesn't exist anymore. Again. I thought being a pop star was your dream, Bianca. Yeah, you want to explain to us why you changed your mind? Are you afraid that we're going to blow the audition? Of course not. Yeah, well, I am. I'm scared. So what's the problem? Hi, sweetie. Sweetie, huh? I'm sorry about yesterday. I didn't have a chance to say goodbye because I was rushing to catch a plane. But, Bianca, remember what I said. I'm serious now. Stay away from those loser friends of yours. Loser friends? So clearly we're the problem. Well, I guess us common folk are not rich and elegant enough for Her Majesty. Speak for yourself. I'm glad you're amused. You know something, Bianca? I... I should probably start counting, or I might say something I'll it's regret. It's not my fault. It's my father. I can't go singing behind his back. You've got to stand up to him. Don't you think it's time to fight for your dreams? Maggie, don't you think I want to? Then why aren't you doing it? It's... complicated. Complicated. Don't worry. I totally get it. Maybe you don't have the courage. Maybe I don't feel like it. Okay. You know what, then? The mood boards will go on without you. I'm good with that. Yeah, well, I'm not. Aren't you worried about schoolwork? Look, I'm here to become a stylist. But no, I'm not. I'm not worried. So how are we going to handle our schoolwork if we make it past the audition? Are you also afraid of what your father will think? Not in the least. Come on, guys. The band is the best thing that's ever happened to us. Don't give up on it. I guess we're all too different. Maybe you're right. Maybe we are too different. Edward, what are you thinking? Uh, I don't think. Never give up. No matter what. Um, as you are all aware, and uh, if not, I suggest you all familiarize yourself with the school regulations, which clearly state that, uh, at least I think it does, I don't remember the exact page. Why don't we but, just move on? Uh, certainly. When you said move on, did you not mean that we should... The announcement. Ah, huh? yes, of course. Huh? I, I knew that's what you meant. The anniversary of the Academy's founding is right around the corner. Precisely. And we traditionally have a celebration where we all just, um, celebrate naturally. Do we have a cake with candles? I got dibs on the biggest piece of cake. I haven't decided if you're ignorant or just stupid. Uh... We will relive the glory of the Academy's very first year back in those wonderful old days of 71. Well, when I say old, I don't mean old as in ancient. I was simply referring the to the school great... will take a journey to the past, and we want you all to dress like those students did. <laughs> Remember, they all came from different cultures and countries. <laughs> it's wonderful instilling all this enthusiasm, isn't it? Obviously, the outfit you will be wearing will be graded. Too much enthusiasm can put a damper on creativity. <laughs> Yuki, how many times have I told you to lock the door whenever you go to the bathroom? Yes. And I did lock it, didn't I? Yeah, you did, except I was still in the bathroom at the time! Oh. Mm. All right, now repeat back to me exactly what was said in class today. Oh, I know this. That all of the outfits we wear will be graded. Which outfits? I'm not sure. The headmaster spoke first and he was talking about the olden days. No, I don't care about that. He said that the anniversary of the Academy was coming up and that we had to just, like... Uh, you know, I think Tucker might have a crush on Ferrari. Focus for me, Yuki. Dressed up like what? Dressed up like what? Um, dressed up like, um, like they used to in those days. And what days are those? <sighs> Nausicaa, come on. You can't expect me to remember every word they said. Yeah, I can, because it was your fault that I was locked in the bathroom, and I'm not getting a bad grade because of you, so... So what? So now you're gonna tell me exactly which period in time the headmaster was talking about! You want to know the exact year? Yes! Day and hour! Just a friendly piece of advice. We'll show them we're the best. We're the mood boards. Time to prove once and for all who's the best. When I think about the 70s, there's only one thing that comes to mind. The hippies. All right, then. So, like tie-dye shirts, Mexican blouses, multicolored ponchos, and of course, we can't forget bell-bottoms, right? Some people think cheap bell-bottoms are the only thing that represent the 70s, but we know better, right? Sure we do. There's those glamorous outfits inspired by 40s movies and all those Hollywood stars. 
Elegant unisex blazers made out of a multitude of precious fabrics. And long, ruffled, spectacular evening gowns with jewels and pearls. Okay, but what kind of period dress are you thinking of? I don't know yet, but don't rush me. I just need to figure out a way to shape my inspiration. That's a slight problem. Hey there, guys. How's it going here? Still got a ways to go? No, we're just about done. We already finished our sketch. What about you? Oh, yeah, we are so ready. Uh, tons of ideas. Oh, evening wear, huh? No, not even close. Actually, ah. How did they possibly figure out what we were designing? Maybe we were just too predictable. <laughs> Look, we're still the best. We have to create something classic, yeah. not boring. How about a pair of big palazzo pants with a shiny shirt and one of those long, skinny ties? Mm, no. All right, how about a suit for me and a um, skirt for you with matching furs? No. Well, you're just hating everything I say. Hey, how about this? Yeah, maybe if we take off all the sparkles, it wouldn't be that hideous. Well, I think it's a great idea, especially since no one else thought of it. The water threw a party in the county jail. The prison band was there and they began to wail. <laughs> so what do you think? I borrowed it from my uncle. He's convinced he's the reincarnation of the king of rock and roll. <laughs> you're, you're really, really not, not well. well. Actually, yeah, I'm not feeling that great. I'm feeling kind of itchy all over. It did say 80% allergic. You mean acrylic. You sure? Because I thought it said allergic. Okay, uh, definitely not this one. Need a good idea. Now. You know me, I work very hard, and I don't care about any gossip, but I was wondering, just curious, what exactly is going on with you two? Dolores, back to work. I can work and talk. All right. <clears throat> What's going on? What's going on is that me and the Frosty Ice Queen over there live in worlds so different we can't speak anymore. You see, I mix with the common folk and she's accustomed to royalty. You're the same to me. Wrong. Wrong! At least I have the courage to fight for my dreams. Of course you do. You got nothing to lose. I have an empire. Oh, forgive me, your Stop! majesty. Stop! I will not sit here and listen to you be rude like this. But she's the one. Enough! I would rather work than stand here and listen to you two arguing like yes and no. It's all her fault. She was the one who- Shut up! Both of you, I'm working. And you know what? You sit here and talk about dreams, but I don't think you know what you're talking about because our dreams have got to be the most important things in our lives. And we have to fight for them to the nail because they are what keeps us going and what we live for every day. Well, I agree with you. And so now, let's go! Go and fight for our dreams! But in the end, I will succeed! <sighs> Uh, you, well, now I'm too exhausted to work. And out of breath, I have to rest. I'm gonna take a nap. Would you two kill each other if I leave? I don't see what could possibly happen since I'm all alone here. Well, I wish I was alone here. There are crazy people out there less crazy than you two. Sure you understood what he said. The headmaster wants outfits from that period. Sure thing. It's just that it all seems a bit weird. The headmaster is pretty weird, don't you think? Well, you got that right. You're gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna be the most beautiful. They'll be talking about my dress for years at this school. Whatever. Did you want me to lock you in the bathroom again? No, I want you to keep your mouth shut for a while. A long while, okay? I have to come up with a winning idea. Now. What do you think of a psychedelic look? Maggie, all those colors are giving me a wicked headache. What about this one? An extremely furry but totally synthetic fur coat. You really want to go with the polar bear look? What do you think about this one? Maggie, I know you want to win this, but don't you think you're pushing it a bit? Well, I don't know what else to come up with. I know what you're thinking, all right? That all this crazy creativity of yours needs some uh, structure. It needs Bianca. Don't you dare even think about that. And no, I don't think we need them, okay? Could it be we really do work well together? No. Edward, 
That's great. It's totally ghosty. I can't take it. Is this a cray fic? It's driving me crazy. Edward, it's acrylic. But is acrylic supposed to make you this crazy? Uh-oh. So, did you ever get back to that record agent, Mood Board's other half? We're not the Mood Board's other half, and we'll prove it to you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Maggie, listen, I don't think we can do it without them. Yes, we can, Edward, all right. Now let's start the rehearsal. Then I'll call the record agent and Go sign on, up for the it? audition. Okay? Okay? One, two, three, four! The half mood boards are terrible. We could just tell them the truth. What truth? The real truth. That without Maggie's creativity and the chaos of Quinn, we're just too neat and tidy to come up with great ideas. Don't you dare say that again! Bianca, we need them. And by the sound of it, they need us. We don't need them. And being around Maggie is bad for you. Hard truth. There's not much time before tonight's celebration. Are your outfits ready? Yes, unfortunately. Naturally, more than ready. Keep in mind that your outfits will be graded. So I want to be nice and give you some good advice on your creations. Hmm. Um. Well, Quinn and I are working on a very ambitious project. We're preparing a special outfit that will really reflect the day-to-day -day life of people in those turbulent times. Such as? Well, uh, cross-cultural and ethno-designs that are very, very particular. Did you want to add something here, Quinn? No, that pretty much covers it. Day-to-day <clears throat> -day life, you say? You may have something there. Or it could just be an unmitigated disaster. Bianca, what have you got? Well, Jacques uh, and I, oh, unlike the two of them, have something more oh, elegant. Certainly something more stylish and classy that better mirrors the mood of that specific era. Isn't that right, Jacques? Yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself. Mm. Oh, yes, I can see it now. Can you? You have a long way to go, and so far you have nothing to show for it. Excuse me, but I'm totally ready, Professor. Yuki's been a good little helper, but we don't want to say anything that might spoil the surprise. As you wish. You four are not going anywhere. Us? Us? Yes, you. What is your problem? Need I remind you that your work must be stellar in order for you to maintain high grades? Clear? Clear. If only we could work together, but I'm not giving them the satisfaction. If you really want to work with me, you better apologize, little Miss Farm Girl from Portland. Well, now what do we do? You know what. Forget about it. Well, it's pointless thinking we can do it on our own. We're the half mood boards. Maggie, I just want to say... <laughs> I was wrong to leave the group and create all this stupid competition with our projects. And I'm sorry. And that top is incredibly hideous. Well, I don't care what you think, Your Majesty. You think I do? I mean, about what you think? Go on. Maggie. Go on. Bianca. Great. Nice introduction. At least it's a step forward. I'm not apologizing if that's what you think. Well, neither am I. <laughs> and two steps back. <sighs> Prepare to bow before your party, Queen. Yes, bow it. Why I keep picking you to be my helper? Now move it! See you all later, losers! Maybe Nausicaa's right. We could lose everything this way. But I will not be the one to apologize. Testing, <laughs> testing, test, can, can you hear me? Yes. Ah, very good, very good. 
Well, we're all gathered here to celebrate the anniversary of our great academy. <laughs> Seeing all of you today brings me back to that first day when these hallowed halls were filled. Oh, hey, Master, perhaps we should get on with the show, huh? even a bit much for that era. Oh, uh, what's with his face? Not sure. depicting peace and love in the era of the hippie. But that was just a small part of the fashion of the 70s. <laughs> Yuki, why is everyone dressed up in 70s fashion? You must have confused which 70s they meant. It's not like it's a huge difference. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life. Why? Everyone is staring at us, isn't it awesome? <laughs> Well done, everyone. Well done. Yes, yes. <laughs> but I think it might have been stronger had you worked together. Yes, you would have represented both aspects of that period. But in the end, we actually did work together, right, Maggie? Um, right. <laughs> I wanted to represent the everyday aspect of life in that period, as well as the elegance of their evening attire. Yeah. Well, my compliments, guys. Your ideas always seem to be so, uh, what's the word? Opposite. Different. Complimentary. I yes. hate that word. Well then, DJ, music. <laughs> waiting for you to apologize and I'm waiting for you there's only one way to solve this think dancing's a bore. Then why don't you go take a hike? Well, maybe I'll make an exception this time. Listen up, folks. We have a special request for the mood boards up here. I'm 
and I'm ready to fight for my dreams. I don't care about that. We'd like to take part in the auditions? Thank you, thank you so much. Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bianca and I might argue a lot, but we really do love each other and we compliment each other too. It's almost like we're sisters. Whoa, why would I even think that? 